It's a shocking video of a daytime targeted shooting in the West Edmonton neighborhood of Ormsby Place Saturday. If someone running down the street shooting random bullets can find themselves in random places, and that's terrifying. But at the same time, um, it shouldn't it shouldn't create a mass fear um, because it's just not something that's, you're not seeing this every day. Dan Jones is a criminologist, but he spent years as an Edmonton police officer. He says the brazen daytime nature of this shooting with civilians around reminds him of a string of cases he worked in 2005. We had a bunch of shootings in the inner city of Edmonton, brazen daytime shootings in the inner city of Edmonton that almost didn't make the news. So part of me is wondering, is this becoming more newsworthy because it's occurring in neighborhoods that don't expect violence. It is very sporadic throughout the city when we do have these events. Edmonton police say the victim in this case was known to police and is not cooperating with the investigation led by the organized crime unit. Acting inspector Eric Stewart says Edmonton currently doesn't have many gangs, but those involved in criminal activity are targeting each other. To not only the public for transparency, but also to these groups and other groups when they decide to come out and do reckless behavior like this, this is the potential consequences that could happen. To deal with this in the long term and the short term solve of arrest our way out of this hasn't worked in the past. It's not going to work in the future. And we need to invest in the young folks and we need to invest in helping people reintegrate from jail. Jones says studies indicate the best way to prevent this type of criminal activity is deterrent work at a community level, believing Edmonton police could be doing more. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.